Where is competition in your industry most intense right now? I think competition in our industry is really spread all over the, uh, the entire space. You have competition for traders because as the market goes up, trading volumes go up because everybody's a winner. Uh, and so you have competition there. You have competition in the index world where pricing continues to, to go down. And you have a degree of competition, I'd say, in the advice side. Uh, of the industry with some people out there still saying, hey, I have great insights and I can help you outperform the market. Now, I would shy away from that, but, but the reality is it's going on even today. I was just about to say, how much is that advice worth? Uh, well, my, my response when it comes to investing is there's only one certainty. The only certainty in investing is the fees that you pay. And the more certain a person tells you that they can outperform the market, the faster you should run, the further you should run away. Well, Incentives have historically been one of the biggest problems in financial services. Bad incentives drive bad behavior. No question. If you look across the financial services industry today, are incentives lined up the right way? Well, I think they're lined up incorrectly in some spaces. And rather than maybe calling out exactly what those are, let me say what we do. So for example, um, we don't put out product goals. If I, if I go publicly saying, we're introducing this new product or service and here's our goal for it. Well, what are our employees going to do? They're going to strive really hard to, to meet that goal. The proper measure, in our view, is not to have a goal, but rather to see how the consumer reacts. If the consumer says, I like this, I want more of it, like our digital advisory solution, well, then we've designed it correctly. If they don't want it, well, the, the problem was ours. It shouldn't be put on the back of someone talking to a consumer. There's another issue that's big in our industry, and that is, paying people who serve clients based on a percentage of the revenue they generate from that client. I have a real problem with that. Big brokerage houses do that. Well, a lot, a lot of businesses do that in our space. If my motivation is simply to generate more revenue from you, I don't know how that lines up with your best interest. Your best interest should be, sometimes it may be purchasing something that costs a little bit more, a lot of times it may be purchasing something that costs a lot less. I think the rewards for serving customers should be based on the manner in which they're served, not the revenue they generate. Those don't line up, in your view? There are times they do, but more often than not, they don't.